Hi, I'm Curly Sue, and today I'm going to be making for you mango pudding. Now, this is a really simple dessert, but it looks really pretty and reflective, and it looks like you've put a lot of work into it when actually you haven't. And today I'm going to do um, a nice plating with it. So I'm going to bring out my inner Master Chef because I love watching Master Chef. So I'm going to have the mango pudding on a bed of vanilla cinnamon crumb with a raspberry dust around it and some fresh raspberries and a sprig of mint. So just before we go into the ingredients, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you'll see more videos just like this and you get a nice little alert to say hi, Curly C's done another video. So let's get on with the ingredients. So this recipe is really easy. You just need the pulp of two ripe mangoes. Um, Alfonso mangoes are really good, doesn't have to be, but two medium to large sized mangoes and you just need the pulp from them. Then you're going to need one and a quarter cups of milk plus another quarter cup of plant-based milk. So you can use any plant-based milk. I'm gonna be using almond milk today quarter cup of sugar, but you can use a bit less depending on how sweet your mangoes are, two pinches of salt, a quarter of a cup of corn flour, and the juice of half a lime or lemon. And that's all your ingredients. Now moving on to the method. So first of all, you want to put the mango pulp in a bowl. So you obviously peel the mango and take all the pulp off of the seed and then place it in the bowl. Add sugar and a pinch of salt. Now then you're going to blend that into a puree and then you're gonna add one and a quarter cups of the plant-based milk and blend it again until it's really smooth. Now you're gonna pour this into a pot that you're going to put onto the stove and leave that there for a second. In a separate bowl, you're going to mix together the corn flour with the one quarter cup of plant-based milk and stir this well and set that aside. Now, you're going to heat the mango mixture in a medium heat and once it starts to boil, reduce the heat to low. Then, stir the corn flour mixture and add to the mango mixture. So make sure you store, stir the corn flour mixture well so there's no lumps at the bottom because it can settle a bit after it's been sitting. So make sure you stir it up so it's well combined. And then you add that to the mango mixture and stir vigorously with a whisk to avoid any lumps. So you keep stirring so the mixture will be smooth and this will thicken and then it will start to bubble. Remove it from the heat and then at that point you add the lime juice or lemon juice, whichever you're using, and then pour it into the greased molds. So today I'm using these molds, so you're going to need more than one of them. So whichever molds you like, that's fine. Tap the molds to flatten the mixture a bit and then refrigerate it for at least two hours. Then after two hours, you carefully unmold and ta-da, there is your dessert. So there is your mango pudding. So I'm going to do some really nice plating with this. So I'm going to use a large white plate for this. So first you get a saucer and place it in the white plate and then put the biscuit crumbs around the saucer because you're going to use this to shape the biscuit crumbs. For this I used the lotus biscuits and just whizz them in the blender. So you put it all the way around like that. Um, you can use any vegan friendly biscuits that you like but I found that the lotus ones have a nice texture and flavour for this particular dish. So you do it round like this and then you lift up the saucer in the middle carefully to reveal a nice circle just like this. Then you place your mango pudding at the side like this and on top of it already is a raspberry cut in half with a sprig of mint and then just strategically place some more raspberries around your dish as you can see here and some fresh mint sprigs as well it gives it a lovely pop of color and obviously mint is edible as well i like to have everything on the plate where possible to be edible And I think that's just about it. Oh, we're going to add some cream as well. So I just did some little squirts of cream and place that around the dish just to add even more colour and texture to the dish. 
to make it a bit more restauranty looking and obviously you clean it up in the middle to make sure it looks nice and presentable and that's basically it Ta -da! So there you have it this is your mango pudding and we've elevated the dish a bit so that it looks a little bit more restaurant style and that's it for today thank you so much for watching have you made mango pudding before if you have comment in the comment section below I've actually made pineapple pudding before and it's really nice really lovely um, dessert so quick and easy to make as well have you made any other puddings, any other flavours? If you have, please let me know in the comments section below. Please share this video wherever you are on social media. It will be so helpful for me. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.